Hello guys, I'm Indy Idols, and today we're playing Ziggurat. If you haven't played Ziggurat before, it's like a first person buying some assets. At least that's the best way I could explain it. Now, we only have one character left, and that's Argo. And we're gonna play on... Let's play on hard difficulty. I mean, I'm not good at the game, but I'm not terrible. Oh. I can't even play on hard. Alright, I guess we're gonna end up playing on normal. So let's get started here. On my last save, I'm pretty sure I beat the last first boss with this character, but that's about it. And this game gets really progressively harder. I mean, these uh, rooms like this aren't really all that hard, but whenever it comes down to bosses, they're pretty overpowered in my opinion. Especially for like what stage you are on the game. Alright, so these are little carrot dudes that just run at you. You can take them down with our undead scepter pretty easily. So, as you saw, the Undead Scepter is a staff, while my wand is just a wand, and it's different for every character, but it replenishes mana, while these don't. To replenish the mana of these, you have to uh, get mana crystals, like that's a mana crystal, or I think they're called mana gems, and that refills it for alchemy, which is a different type of weapon that we don't have any of. Usually it's a bomb or something like that. Now, these guys are the most annoying thing. Alright, I think that's everybody. Oh, no, I'm not. Alright, one more. Alright, as you saw, whenever we kill all the enemies, it clears the room. And we're free to go to uh, whatever room we desire. So, what you want to do is you want to get the portal key and get to the boss. Alright, see, here's the portal key. So, if we pick that up, now we could go fight the boss. Because we could summon the guardian of this floor. Okay, so now we want to either level up or we want to kill the boss to get to the next floor. And whenever we level up, we get to pick a perk, which stack kind of like it does in Risking Rain, which is another game I will probably be playing on this channel. And, uh, or Cavern Kings, if you've seen that. I don't think I'll be playing Cavern Kings on here, but you guys could go check that out somewhere else. Uh, what I mean by they stack, I mean. Once you get them, you could level them up by getting them again, or you could just- Okay, here, I'll show you right here. Let's call these flamingo-looking guys. I don't know why I've always called these guys flamingos. They look more like dinosaurs, if anything, but I do see the flamingo resemblance in them. Alright, so let's get an upgrade. Now, either Spell Collector or War Cry. Spell co Collector increases your spell mana pool, which increases this one mana pool, which, I mean, it's 105, that's fine. So let's get work ride, we recover a small amount of health at the beginning of each battle. Alright. Sometimes barrels and crates and things like that can have things in them, so I want to make sure to blow all those up as I can. Alright, that's another mana gem for another weapon I don't have. I need some green mana gems. There we go. Alright, lots of fl these flamingo guys. Okay, this guy looks like to be charged with something. Alright, and I think this is the last enemy. Alright, cool. Now let's go... I, I, I kinda just wanna get to the boss now. Cause I think the first level's too easy. Okay, here's the boss room, as you can see. Now, every boss has their own stage. I don't remember from which. Alright, this is Sir Arthur. He's probably the hardest of the first bosses. Alright, so, uh, I hope they at least get past him, or that'd be kind of embarrassing. Alright, we're gonna use my staff for this. I think that's just the best option. See how much damage it does to him. Oh, we need that. I think we need to drop some health. Okay, guys, this is not looking good. He can just blow up what's ever in our way. <laughs> I can't hide the cover. This is so terrible. I think we got it. I think we got it. Well, that was a close one, but we did get him. Alright, now we're level 3. Alright, White Orb. Restore half of your max health points. Or scholar knowledge gem. Okay, this is more important to me. Uh, I think we're just going to leave. Yeah, let's just leave.
I love the music in this game, it's so nice and majestic sounding. I think that would be the best way to explain it. You know, that's not bad. Alright. Like I was saying, there's one spellbook, stabs, and I think the, the last one's alchemy? I don't remember. Oh, well, we'll about to find out. Alright, this is a magma, magma rifle. It's pretty much just a gun. It's not the best weapon. I will just prefer this guy if we're gonna be using mana, but... Uh, I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> this game is a lot like... Paranautical Activity, if you guys ever played that. That game is so great. I can't get it to work though, but... If I could, I would be playing it off this channel. Oh, I think we're about to die in this room, guys. Maybe not. Uh, Alright, and I think that's the last one. Well, you know, every end starts another beginning. So I'll see you guys next time, and this was Indie Idols. I hope you guys like what you see. Click the like button, subscribe, and stick around for more.